Welcome back. In this section we're going to talk about average, minimum, and maximum values. Now we've got a small list here so we can probably visually pick through and see that 60 is the minimum value for both salesperson C and for sales in March, actually in all months. However, if we had a long list, we'd want to look at using formula in order to help us with it. Now, when you're typing a formula, one of the things I strongly recommend is that you use lowercase letters. And I'll show you why in just a second. So if you want to start typing a formula, you can either come up here. So for average, just to do an example, click on insert function. You can see it automatically adds the equal sign. And here we have average. So the numbers that we want are our B7 to D7. And to do that, we just highlight it and we click OK. As you can see, the average is 112. And let's drag that down just so that we can see all the way across. Now, if we wanted to do average, now again, this is absolutely the worst way you could do this, um, but it's the easiest and it's easiest to demonstrate. So again, if you don't want to use the function bar, you can start typing and you can see Excel suggests formulas as you go, and it even gives you the formatting. In this case, we'll just highlight and Excel will say from B7 to B9 and we'll close the bracket. As you can see, I've entered it in small caps. When I press enter, if we go back, Excel capitalized it. What that means is that the formula is correct. So if you use lower caps or as a rule and Excel doesn't capitalize it, you know that somewhere in that formula. So if I delete that, oh, Excel won't uh, uncapitalize once it's already there. But as you can see, I put in a small g, it's now capitalized. And we'll run that across. Okay, so that's a good way you can see the average. Um, now for our example, if we're looking at salespeople who meet or exceed the average, the highest performer gets a bonus, the worst performer gets retraining. So we want to calculate the minimum, which is just MIN, and we want the minimum for each month. And likewise, we want the maximum. And so again, we type in equals max. Now normally, again, if you're stuck, you can use this format, the function wizard. I know these formulas fairly well, so I just type them in. And now maybe we want to see how each salesperson is doing in a particular session. Now instead of keying in the formulas, you can see I've highlighted both of these. Now if I drag down, Excel copies the rel relative formula. So that's just a quick little way to do a little bit of number crunching. And I realize these calculations may seem a little bit ridiculous in such a short list, but if we had pages and pages, hundreds of salespeople, you could ve very easily spend a lot of time manually filtering. Whereas when you look at this, you can quickly see in this month, in this quarter, the, the worst performing was this, the best performing. So ironically, our worst and best numbers come from the same person. So again, you can see with the simple formulas, you can actually add very basic analysis to this, the spreadsheet. 